Writing style. Engaging. Imagine a man who turned the business of illicit drugs into an empire so vast, it was said, he could bend a nation to his will. I'm talking about none other than Pablo Escobar, the infamous drug lord, whose life story reads like a thriller novel. Born in 1949 in Colombia, Escobar's journey to notoriety began in the streets of Medellin. His ambition was as immense as his ruthlessness. By the 1980s, Pablo Escobar had become the kingpin of the Medellin cartel, controlling 80% of the global cocaine market. It's said that at the peak of his power, he was smuggling 15 tons of cocaine into the United States per day. Imagine, 15 tons, every single day. But Escobar's story wasn't just about wealth and power. It was marked by a dark side, a very dark side. Violence was his tool and fear, his ally. The Medellin cartel was responsible for countless murders, including politicians, police officers, and civilians. Escobar's mantra was plata o plomo, meaning silver or lead, a bribe or a bullet. You chose. Despite his reign of terror, Escobar was a paradoxical figure. In Colombia, he was also a Robin Hood-like figure to some, building housing and soccer fields for the poor. This complex duality adds layers to his character that are hard to reconcile. The beginning of the end came with Escobar's escalating violence, which turned public and international opinion against him. Despite his efforts to negotiate his surrender on his own terms, including the luxurious prison, La Catedral, which he built for himself, his empire began to crumble. In 1993, after a massive manhunt, Escobar was shot and killed by Colombian National Police, just a day after his 44th birthday. The legacy of Pablo Escobar is a testament to the depths of human ambition and the destructive power of greed. His rise and fall are a stark reminder of where the dark parts of unchecked power can lead. This brief dive into the life of Pablo Escobar barely scratches the surface of his complex legacy. His story isn't just a tale from the past. It's a continuing conversation about morality, power, and justice. What thoughts does this stir in you? Share your views in the comments below.